today I'm talking to those of you who need a little bit more calories than the average woman. So I'm going to help you figure out if you are one of these women and then we're going to talk about exactly how many calories you need. And I'm also going to tell you about a more advanced strategy that you can use if you want to edge your body into getting a little bit more leaner but support your muscle building goals at the same time. Now before we get into it, I'm going to show you a little clip of what I had for lunch today. What you saw there was a pretty typical lunch for me. It was around 350 to about 370 calories. I had some eggs, I had some sweet potato hash browns, or if you're in New Zealand, kumara hash browns. They call sweet potato kumara here. And then I had a few other veggies that I fried in some olive oil. Now, what we're gonna be talking about today are women who need a little bit more calories than average. I have recently done a video on calories for weight loss. And in that video, I talked about why I think 1600 calories is a good starting point for most women. But as I mentioned in that video, sometimes women can get away with eating slightly more than 1600 calories to lose weight. And sometimes there are women who need slightly less than 1600 calories. If you're watching this video, obviously you think you might be one of these women who need more calories to lose weight. Now you could lose weight on 1600 calories, but if you've read any of my other articles on female fitness, systems or if you've watched any of my other videos you'll know that I like to create what I call a minimal dose when it comes to weight loss and that just means doing as little as possible when you're trying to lose weight so that you support your metabolism but also your muscle mass and just overall meeting your nutritional requirements because when you're on a low calorie diet it's really hard to get everything your body needs so how do you know if you are one of these women well, these women usually have a very typical profile, so much so that I can almost always pick them out as soon as they walk into my gym. First of all, they almost always say to me, look, I'm pretty close to my ideal weight. I wouldn't mind if I lost some weight, but that's not my primary goal. I'm just here to get stronger, build some muscle, you know, create some shape, and also to just be healthier. So their primary goal is usually not weight loss. And then second, these women usually have a dedicated weight training program. So they're usually in the gym four to five times a week, hitting the weights pretty hard with the primary goal of building muscle. And also, these women are often known as the fitness freaks of the office. So if you're somebody that prefers to go to the gym, instead of going for drinks after work or you're always the one with the healthy lunch and you know your peers are always commenting on your muscles then it's quite likely that you are one of these ladies now if you have an active job that's also going to increase your caloric requirements but in my experience that's not entirely necessary to put you into this category of women who need extra calories uh, it's usually more to do with your training and how lean you are and your goals so if you are one of these women how many calories are we talking about well ideally you would know your maintenance level of calories and all that means is the amount of calories that if you ate every day you would maintain your body weight on now some of you may well know what those maintenance calories are if you don't know your maintenance calories you can figure it out by tracking your calories on an app like my fitness pal for a week or so, assuming you're maintaining your weight, then you take an average of those calories and that's gonna be your maintenance level of calories. Now, it's not entirely necessary that you do that because in my experience of working with so many women, there's a range that works really well for women who fall into this category. And that's between 1,700 and 2,000 calories. Now, there are some women who can eat more than 2,000 calories, but it's very rare. So for the purposes of this video, we're gonna assume that you're somebody who fits in that 1,700 to 2,000 calorie range. So if you fall into this category, how do you go about losing weight? Well, I'm going to use an example of a client to talk you through this. So last week, my client Sarah came in and we were talking about her calories. 
Now, Sarah trains really hard at least five times a week. And she says that her maintenance calories are about 2,000 calories. So that's the amount of calories if she ate every day she maintains her weight. Now she's pretty happy maintaining her weight. Her primary goals are muscle building. Sarah likes to have a muscular upper body in particular. She's interested in developing her biceps and her shoulders. So that's important context for what follows. So let's say Sarah decided she wanted to lose weight. How would we go about it? Well, I would recommend that Sarah drops her calories three to four days a week only because remember I'm a big fan of doing as little as possible to lose weight. So I would recommend on her lower body training days, on her cardio days, and on her days off that she drops her calories. And because we know her maintenance calories are 2000, then I would recommend she drops her calories to something like 1800 on those lower calorie dates. So that's going to create a calorie deficit for her three to four days a week. And then in a couple weeks, we would just assess and see how she's going. If she's losing weight, then we'll just keep it like that. Now, if things aren't moving for her, we could be a little bit more aggressive. We could reduce calories even more on her days off, or we could just reduce her calories every day of the week. We could bring them all down to 1800. But I like the idea of having the high and the low days because intuitively it makes sense. On the days she's trying to train hard and develop certain muscle groups, she can eat a bit more. And then on the days when she's not training really hard or doesn't want to develop muscle groups, and most women don't want to develop their legs, then she can eat a little bit less. And it's actually not that complicated. I actually do this in my own life. So I also prioritize developing my upper body and I make up the calorie difference simply by adding in a protein shake on those upper body training days. So it doesn't have to be very complicated at all. So I hope you found that helpful. Just a couple of tips for those of you who need to eat a little bit more. As always, if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments of this video. I will get back to you. And before I let you go, I just wanted to say thank you so much to all of you who have been watching my videos. I am new to YouTube, I'm only just getting started, but I really appreciate those of you who've subscribed, left comments, and engaged with the videos. And on that note, if you want to catch my upcoming videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell beside it so that you get notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.